Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, or if you're new, welcome. I'm Madeline, usually uh, Mason's in the video too, but since this is a get ready with me, obviously it's just me. Um, I don't wanna start the video like sitting down at my desk when I get home, like when I first start getting ready, so I'm gonna do it now while I'm in the car. I just got off work, so I'm about to head home. Right now it is, what time is it? 3.30, exact actually. Um, and it'll probably take me like 30 minutes to get home, and the event is at 6.30, but I don't wanna be on time, but I don't wanna be too late, so I'll probably get there between like 6 30 and 7. I know we haven't posted in a hot minute this is gonna be kind of like our introduction back to YouTube if you have been watching us or you have been subscribed thank you so much uh, for clicking on this video and for continuing to watch us hopefully we will be more consistent uh, coming up 2020 we kind of took a break like all of 2019 so yeah hopefully we get back on track with YouTube because I actually really miss it and I enjoy vlogging editing and everything it was just kind of a busy year for me also it's my last year of college if you don't know so so that's also a thing like next semester will be my last semester I'm wrapping up this semester um, this week and next week are finals so yeah TMI kind of a long intro sorry but you guys want to get home and start getting ready before I start getting ready I need to shave my legs because I'm wearing like a short dress and I don't want people to see my hairy legs so I'm gonna shave and I figured I would like not show you guys me shaving but like tell you guys what I do just in case any girls are wondering I don't know I like to know extra stuff about people so figured this might be helpful first before I shave I'm gonna do um dry brushing but only on my legs because I'm just shaving my legs and I want my legs to feel good look good but I just recently started doing this so I don't want to I don't know too much about it and I can't really say like the big difference is made since I just started recently but um I mean if works good for exfoliation anyway so i can say that like i know it's good for your lymphatic system like drainage and i know you're supposed to go like upwards towards your heart that's the way you brush so i'm gonna do that to my legs literally just like this if you want to see like start down here and then just brush up i'm gonna do this for my whole leg on both sides before i start shaving and then i'll show you guys whenever i start shaving too so BRB. Okay, obviously also forgot to mention I have spandex on. Like it looks like I have no pants on, but I'm just wearing spandex because I just need to shave like kind of up to right here. I don't need to go like all the way up since like the dress isn't that short. I just want like whatever's visible, whatever is visible to not have hair, obviously. So we're gonna shave now. If you're wondering what I use, just a normal razor and some body wash. So BRB again. Okay, I'm upstairs now and I just finished doing my brows. I didn't want to film doing my brows because brows are kind of boring and I'm not that good at them like at all. So I have to like focus when I'm doing them and I didn't want to like try to film myself and try. And yeah, they just look like this. Um, I used the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Ebony. If you're wondering what I used, um, you guys could definitely go find like a better eyebrow tutorial on the YouTube anywhere from any other beauty influencer. So yeah, I'm going to just start with everything else because brows also take me the longest. That's really weird too because i don't know where time went but it's already 5 12 if you can see that but i'm supposed to be done around like six ish so i can go pick up mason and get there by like seven ish um but doing my foundation eyeshadow all that actually doesn't take long it's just the brows so we already got that over with i'm gonna clip my hair back also obviously my mirror is right here that's why i'm looking um I just like to clip it back so it's not in my face. And this is the foundation we're going to be using. It's called the Givenchy Matissime Velvet. I don't know how to say that, but that's what it looks like. And the color I'm using is matte gold. I've had this, I got it like a few months ago, like six months ago maybe. Um, and I still have a lot left because I literally don't wear foundation anymore ever unless I am going to invent like today. So bring her out to use, but I really like the finish of this. It's like, I mean, it says velvet and that's literally how it feels it's kind of like matte but not like dry it still makes you look like not flat like kind of still has like a, a little glow to it but it definitely like smooths the pores hides anything you want to hide um so yeah i'm also going to be using a beauty blender i'll show you that should be good i can always go in with more so i'm going to be using the uh, morphe sponge actually instead of a beauty blender because i actually like this one more um it's like bigger and more fluffy in my opinion but use whatever y'all want obviously this isn't a tutorial this is just me getting ready so i'm just gonna dot this everywhere and oh i forgot to mention i already have like a clean face wash my face did skincare if y'all want a skincare routine let me know i think i have a nighttime one on my channel already but it's kind of old that was like 
a year ago so let me know if you're interested my skin has actually gotten a lot better um over the past i don't know how many months but it's improved a lot because my skin used to kind of be bad and i wasn't even aware of it until i see my skin now and look at pictures from before um and now it's much better so i'm just gonna go in and dab this with the sponge it also looks really natural still like it covers up all your imperfections um and it can be a full coverage if you do like if you layer it but if you only do one layer it like still looks really natural and it just like evens out your skin tone without looking cakey oh and i already have my eyelashes done obviously these are not my actual eyelashes um they're volume set they're not classic i usually get classic but since I have an event today i was like i'll do volume i got them done a few days ago i don't know if you guys can see the difference on camera but it basically just like evens everything out i'm gonna go in with a little bit more in some areas that i want to cover up a teeny bit more also the camera's dying so hold on let me go change the battery okay we're back with a new battery this one should be fully charged i hope but uh, i'm going in in a few more spots that i want to cover up a little bit more <laughs> blended in or the foundations blended in i'm gonna go in with concealer and my favorite one right now is nars um this is the creamy one yeah radiant creamy concealer and i use the color macadamia i tried custard at first because that's the one like everyone uses on youtube but then when i went to go like test it on my skin it was like way too light so i think this is like one shade darker and then i'm gonna just like dot it in some spots that are Still needing coverage down my nose. It may not look like there's spots, like, because I have my ring light that I'm using as um, on my mirror, but in person you can tell. So, and then just a little bit on my cheeks. Okay, so literally I don't get ready anymore. Um, I used to like do my makeup and hair every day um, and then senior year of college came around and I haven't worn makeup like in a long time. <laughs> party is denim and diamonds and i really wanted to do a britney spears justin timberlake moment but then it's a work event it's kind of that's like really extra to do so i was like maybe if it was like halloween but it's not so i went with a navy dress that'll be like my denim and then i'm just gonna wear um diamond accessories <laughs> if you guys hear noise downstairs by the way it's my sister and my grandpa um, I can't really control that since they live here too and I don't want to be like rude and tell them to not make any noise so sorry if you hear stuff in the background they're downstairs now we're gonna set everything and my favorite setting powder that I've always used this one and I don't think I'm ever gonna stop it's the Laura Mercier just translucent powder and I think it does a good job of just um, setting everything and not making it look dry or like flat and it has no color obviously and this one doesn't flash back some do but this one doesn't so i'm just gonna set under my eyes first um if you're wondering the brush it's sigma and it's just like a big fluffy tapered brush oh and last night um i didn't film this obviously but i shaved my face i like to do that if i know i'm doing something like this the next day because it really like exfoliates and gets all the dead skin off and it just makes a really um smooth canvas for your makeup the next day or you could do it the day of but my skin's sensitive and it gets red so i like to do it the night before um right before i do skincare and when i woke up this morning my skin felt so good so highly recommend um watch jacqueline hill's video that's the video that inspired me to start doing it that she posted kind of a long time ago and i only do it probably like once every month or two months i don't do it very often because i have like a fear that it's gonna like 
my hair is gonna grow back all over my face darker even though apparently that's not true i'm still scared of that happening so i only do it like not that often okay the face is set now like that was like just like a light layer of powder it's not a lot and as you can tell it just like mats everything down a little bit more um hold on this eyelash right here is bothering me i gotta brush it there we go. No wonder why it looked like that. It came out. Now we're going to do bronzer. Should I do powder or cream? Where is the cream one? Oh, okay. We're going to go in with Fenty Beauty. The I don't know what this is. It's just like a stick. Like the cream stick she has. This is the color Truffle. Uh, I'm going to go on the sides of my nose. And yeah, I like to do this over the powder because it still blends perfectly fine. It doesn't look weird. You can do this before or after, it's up to you. This is just what I do. And then, sides of my cheeks, or like the hollows. And that's it. I don't like to do my forehead because it looks a little bit too much sometimes. And then I'm gonna use this side of the um, Morphe sponge to blend it out. That's why I like it too, because it has two different ends. So I'll just go in and dab. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it does not look blended on camera at all. But in person, it looks blended out. That's so weird. Why does it look like that? Okay, I promise it doesn't look like this in person. Like, at all. It looks like there's barely any. And then on camera, it looks like boom. Like, a lot. But please trust me that it's not. Okay. Next, we're going to go in with the powder version of the bronzer. And this is Makeup Forever Professional, no, Pro Bronze Fusion. Can't read. And what color is this? I don't know the color. 30M? I don't know. It's dark, that's all. It's just bronzer. And I like this one because it's not like completely matte, but it's not shiny. It kind of has like a sheen to it, which I like. And I'm just going to go in with this fluffy brush. This is by Sigma also. Oh, that looks so dark on camera. <coughs> I don't know why it's picking up so dark, but that's all I'll do. And then I'm going to go in with blush. This is the Becca. I've used this one forever. Like, ever since my first makeup video on this channel, I've used the same exact pan. Um, and it's because I don't wear it often, like makeup often, so stuff just lasts me forever. It's the Shimmering Skin Perfector. And I'll go in with this MAC brush. It's like a stippling brush. And I'm gonna smile and just apply it like how a normal person would. All right, that, does that look bad on camera? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It matters how it looks in this mirror. And I think it looks good. I'm still gonna go in with Mommy. this brush. I'm talking to the camera, say hi. Hi. Okay, I'm gonna finish getting ready and then I'll go downstairs, okay? Okay. Hug? I love you. Oh, I love you. I'm just gonna blend it out right here where it goes into like my smile lines. Oh, thank you. Now, what am I for? Highlighter. Okay, one of the most important things. So, back in with the same split pan, and I'm gonna use a fan brush and I just use the highlighter part of the split pan. And I'm going to put this right above my blush um, on the high points of my cheeks. Oh, I love this highlighter. It's like not too much, but it like still shows up, you know? And then I'm going to go in with like a small brush like this. And I'm going to go put it in my inner corners. This like really opens up your eyes. And then I'm gonna um, put some underneath my brow bone also. It kind of just like awakens your eyes a little, I guess. And then for eyeshadow, um, I like to do eyeshadow last, I don't know why. But I don't do anything crazy, especially since I already have eyelashes. I feel like... Honestly, this look, look already looks complete to me because I'm not a dramatic or a very glam person. But I'm going to go in with the bronzer again, just so I have some color on my lids. 
Um, where's the brush? Okay, and then I'm going to take this dual-sided brush. This actually came in one of my Anastasia um, eyeshadow palettes, and I stole it out because I really like it. And I'm just going to put the bronzer color into my crease. <laughs> Can you even tell if that made a difference? I think it did. And I'll take out my Morphe palette. This is my favorite one. Because I only like like neutral shades or brown shades. And this is the 3502 palette. This is the vibe. All of these like neutral slash brown colors. I guess I'll go in with this one. Right here. And these colors are so pigmented you don't need a lot. And then tap off the excess. And put this into my crease. Actually, I'm gonna put this all over my lid. I just find that browns work best with my eyes. I have brown eyes, obviously. And whenever I do lighter browns like this, it kind of makes them look less boring, if that makes sense. And then I'm gonna go in with this pointy brush and put it, um, under my eye also what time is it? it's only 5 39 it's only been like 29 minutes go us wow honestly kind of surprised um maybe i want to add shimmer to my like my lid my lid okay my camera stopped filming for some reason like it just shut off on its own uh it's never done that so i don't know why it did that but um i just I'm still putting this shimmer on my lids and I feel like they didn't even do that much. Oh wow, uh, I really love this foundation. I wish I wore foundation more, but like I don't need it. So I told myself that like I'm only going to use it if I need it because my skin's been doing way better lately. Um, but Oh, also I had chapstick on. I don't know if you could tell, but. I don't like when foundation and stuff gets on my lips, so I'm just wiping that off really quick. Um, we need to do... Where's my mascara? Mascara on the bottom lashes. So, I like... This one's my favorite one. It is by Dior. There, it's two of them. So, this is the conditioner. I put this on first because, like, my eyelashes are kind of thin. So, this is the conditioner. Um, it says Maximizer 3D. It makes them just look bigger and better. And then this is the... Bleh. This is just the Dior Show Iconic Overcurl. They go together. Well, you can buy them separately, but they're right next to each other at Sephora, if you're wondering. So, this is white, and then it dry it dries um, clear. And then let that dry. Oh, actually, before I put the black mascara on, I'm going to set my face. Almost forgot to do that. Uh, this is the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Antioxidant Glow Water. It's actually not like a setting spray, but I use it as setting spray, and it works so good. So, hold on. It's like a fine mist. I really like it. Okay, I think we're good. But this is does exactly what it says, glow water. Like, it makes you... Can you tell? Maybe not. But it just makes the makeup look more alive. Like, less dull, less flat. And it kind of makes it look more natural, too. I feel like after I use that... It makes the foundation look even more like my skin. Like, can you tell? I feel like it doesn't look like I'm wearing... Like, obviously, it looks like I'm wearing makeup because I have all this. But it looks not cakey. I think that's, I guess, the best way to say it. Because it's just... the found, This foundation mixed with this setting spray is, like, the best combo. Oh, also with this um, translucent setting powder. So, let that dry a little bit. And then we're going to go in with this. I like this one because of the um, wand. It kind of like does that curl. And so it's really easy to do bottom lashes with it. Okay, here's the chapstick I use. This is the... Well, I use like different kinds, but this one's really good for lasting a while. Um, it's just the Vaseline Lip Therapy. This is the rosy one. They have different flavors or whatever, but I like this one because it kind of has a pink tint to it. So, there we go. This is the final look. Thank you guys for watching this part. We're still going to do the outfit part and 
um, like accessories and stuff. And oh, also hair, obviously, because I'm not gonna leave my hair like this. Um, yeah, also, I got my nails done. This is what that sounded weird. This is what they look like, kind of like a twist on French tips. I got like a nude and then white detailing right there. Oh my god, I didn't even get my toes done. My toes are literally empty right now empty like they're bare they have no nail polish so i'm gonna have to put nail polish on i'm gonna have to go quickly put on like a nude nail polish i guess and let's get the dress so this is her she's so cute it's a blue satin dress and uh the style of this one on fashion nova is called the selena dress um and it comes in all different colors and it's so flattering like it's super thick here i'm gonna lay her out so the material is like super thick. It's double-sided, which is what I was worried about since it's side and I didn't want it to be see-through, but it's like double and it's super thick. And it basically just like kind of cinches your waist in and then just flows out. It doesn't poof out, but just flows nicely with your body. And it's not too low cut. I got a size extra small if you're wondering. Um, I'm 5'1 and weigh about like 110 pounds. So yeah, and it has pockets. I love that. That's another thing I was like, wow really good and then the back looks like this it's just simple and it has the adjustable um like length to s tighten or loosen the straps and then there is a zipper and it just looks really seamless i'm really excited uh i'll put it on after i do my hair we have to go downstairs so we can do my hair real quick but yeah this is the dress and then shoes are down here one second I wore these shoes to prom, so I didn't have to go buy shoes since the theme is... Did I tell you guys the theme? Why do I not remember? But the theme is denim and diamonds. I can't remember if I told you that or not. It's, it's kind of crooked. Hold on. Okay, yeah, the theme is denim and diamonds. I don't know if I mentioned that, but these are the shoes. They're Steve Madden, and they're like rhinestone-y kind of right here, and they're just like simple. They're not too high. So this with this will be the outfit and then i'll show you the accessories after i get dressed but we're gonna go do my hair now okay back downstairs now and i'm gonna be using this wand the brand is numi i've always used this i've had this since like high school i think but i'm just letting it heat up and while it's heating up i'm gonna take my hair down and brush it i like to use a comb um because whenever i was using like a brush it was breaking my hair a lot and i was having a lot of like breakage and um just like damage so i started using a comb and i actually noticed a difference it takes a little bit longer if my hair is tangly but it's more effective so I recommend getting a comb if y'all haven't tried using one and i don't know what kind of part i want because i want to do a low bun that's the look i'm going for because it's super easy and i feel like it's really chic simple um and still makes you look like cute like you tried so should I do a middle part, I think, like that? And then like tease up here a little bit. But I think I'm gonna curl some of the top pieces um, so then it looks wavy, cause I'm gonna curl these two pieces. But then I'm, I don't have to do the rest since so I'm gonna be putting it in a bun. So I'm gonna curl these two pieces first. <laughs> Kind of looks weird right now, but hold on. We're gonna <coughs> just curl some of the top pieces. Oh my gosh, for all the OGs on the channel that have been watching, or if you've seen this video and you're not an OG, but it's my uh perm video my perm is all grown out my hair is basically going back to straight um, before i got my perm my hair was naturally just pinned straight and so now that the perm is grown out it's been like two years uh my hair is going back to normal again i kind of missed it i actually really like my straight hair now that i had curly hair for like a year and a half so i'm just curling the pieces away from my face wow okay i kind of like my hair curled but we're gonna try out the bun if the bun doesn't work we can just go back to curling all of my hair. All right, I need to start cheesing it up. Okay, I'm liking those. And then, oh my god, I totally forgot to use this. I put this out 
whenever um, the curling iron was heating up so purposely use it and i always forget but this is uh heat protected this is by wella if you're wondering but i didn't even use it half the time i forget to use it so but at least i remember i just don't remember to actually spray it now i'm gonna tease the crown of my head like just the top areas oh maybe i should do a pony like curl the rest kind of like how that looks no we don't have time for that all right if we had time for that i would probably do that i'm gonna like make a loop and then wrap the rest around it and then tie it off see how we like that well i'm gonna pull out the hair hold on one second <laughs> I'm gonna go grab bobby pins real quick. Got the bobby pins and I'm just gonna start pinning the bun where I have like random hair. How do we like this? I talk to myself so much whenever I'm getting ready, so I probably sound like a crazy person, but I guess I like it. I'm gonna do drop down earrings and then put a diamond bracelet on. I mean, these earrings already go like this. I'll probably keep this diamond one and then this hoop in, but this one's like rose gold. Uh, I'm gonna put in the drop earrings on my last holes and keep the others. Um, and then this side of my stack already is like diamond theme. I never take these off. So I already have, this is like all silver and diamonds anyways. And then, oh, I have to take these off. I have to put on a silver slash diamond necklace and put my dress on. So I'm going to do all that and then um, I'll show you guys. Okay, here is the final product. Trying to put my hand in the pocket so you guys can see. These are the shoes. I did not have time to put nail polish on, so I'm just going barefoot. But those are the shoes. And I really like how the dress fits. Here it is. I'm wearing sticky boobs. If y'all are wondering, like the kind that just sticks on and it has no back. This is the back. So yeah, I think this dress is really flattering because it like cinches your waist in and then just like kind of flows out. You can't even see me in the whole shot. There we go. Yeah, I really like this look. And then this bag is navy and blue and I think it's perfect. It's woven leather and silk. My uncle actually made it for me. And then this diamond necklace. And then I have this ring on on this hand. And then this diamond ring on this hand. That stack you guys already saw threw on this bracelet um i just had it laying around and then let me show you my earrings these are the um drop earrings that i was talking about so yeah i'm really happy with how it turned out and i'm liking the bun i'm gonna keep it i'm not redoing it also i don't have time because it's already 6 30 and if you guys remember i told you i had to be done by like six so we're running 30 minutes behind but yeah here's the completed look thank you guys for watching uh, i'll still show you guys mason's outfit so the video is not over yet don't you worry okay so we're here well we're not inside yet but we're walking in and i'm finally in the vlog yes welcome mason if you guys have not met him this is mason <laughs> the other part of mads and mace but we're gonna show you his outfit really quick before we go so it's Since so cute yeah okay right. have they seen yeah yours? i showed them already so this is like navy and white and like light blue like, speckled it's cool with it's cool and then navy pants and gray loafers i'll show them yours real quick again from like outside oh they didn't see this jacket so i added this jacket to stay warm because it's kind of cold so beautiful Thanks. all right let's okay. go so cold it's really cute so that's cute. the sign the venue is really nice we didn't know if we could vlog inside or not. In I know, we can get pics there with the camera. Oh, there's a photographer, perfect. But yeah, I don't know if we were gonna vlog inside. We'll see, I'm gonna keep the camera in my purse. See how it goes. Yeah, oh, also we vlogged um, getting his outfit at H&M, so we're gonna insert that now. Yeah. Boop. This H&M is like one of the biggest ones that we've been to, so that's why we came here. Oh, <laughs> thanks. It's extra windy outside. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> Isn't this one like three stories? Yeah, this one is the woman's. And then do we have to go up or down? Down. For the men. I know, why is it broken every single time we come? 
no, it doesn't work. It kind of scares me still. Like, I feel like it's going to turn on oh, while we start walking. Today. Oh my gosh, they're so sore. Oh, show them your new earring. Oh. So cute. Wait, it's not focusing. There we go. It's so cute. He got it from Urban like last week. And I just have a little one over here. Yeah, but he's been looking for one of those like drop down earrings for a long time. Okay, outfit of the day. Oh, I'm wearing OTD. sweatpants and this hoodie. I just got this yesterday during Black Friday shopping at Zara. I'm gonna do a winter haul because I've been buying like a lot of winter stuff. But yeah, it's just like a basic brown hoodie. I'm going for like nude tones for winter. So, and then this uh, red Gucci backpack and then white Yeezy. Super cute. And then Mason's. He never wants to do OOTDs. <laughs> I show it anyways. Cute. We're both dressed pretty lazy since we're just shopping today. Do you know what you're looking for? No. Like anything specific in mind besides like the navy vibe? <laughs> nope. I think we got a winner. We got the shirt because this is like very light blue tones with also dark. So I'm gonna wear like some light gray shoes with this. Yeah, with the navy, with navy blue pants. We'll show bottoms. you our outfits when we get dressed. I really like it. It's like not flowers, but it's like it's oh, a cool print. That's cool. I think it's like edgy. Yeah. Before we go in, he's trying this drink. They have oh a cute gosh. little hedge that wall. So good. It's good? What is it? I can't drink if you guys don't know. That I'm not so old sweet. enough. It's like super sweet. <laughs> he's 21, though. 21. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go in. There's a lot of people. <laughs> Here's the food. No, I'm vlogging. Do you wanna say hi? Hi, this is Alexis. This is Leslie. I got the okay that I can vlog, so I'm just gonna vlog a little bit, but there's so many people. And this is just one room, but we're getting food right now. Okay, so here's my plate. Um, I got salad, there's mushroom sauce, vegetables, a crab cake, and then I think this is a corn muffin, and then chicken. Oh yeah, we started you eating chicken again. Huh? You wanted me to get your bread. I did, but okay, so I got the old one, and then Mason got the fresh one, so I wanted him to grab me a fresh one. <laughs> but here's Mason's plate. You didn't get salad. No. <laughs> Alexis is Blake. This is Wesley. She's also on our team. That's Courtney. Kylie's right over there. I'll show you guys more after I eat. over now we're, we're leaving, leaving. she lost her voice it's 11 30. i did not expect to lose my voice but um yeah that was really fun and mason was really shook of how lit it was weren't Dude, you surprised it was super lit okay because like my company is kind of like obviously it's professional um and he's met my team before but they weren't like how they, they were, were tonight turning up tonight and there was like everybody here but the venue was so big so much food there was like so much it's really cute drink, so many drinks i know it was crazy he, how many drinks you get like three two two and a half um uh, obviously i didn't drink because i am underage and i'm not trying to get fired or get my boss fired so it was still fun and all the food was so good and the dessert uh, but we didn't get to show everything because uh, I had my camera in my bag half the time and then I forget about it But um, my throat hurts <laughs> But I'm glad we got to dress up and go out because we never do We haven't done that since homecoming <laughs> or or I mean, prom. prom Yeah, like, like we literally, I mean no like for our birthdays and stuff oh, We went yeah, to Nobu yeah. and then we went to Uchi for his birthday yeah, and dressed like up Yeah, like like that Oh yeah, like I don't wear like dresses and heels and She looks insane, obviously as you can tell, so uh, beautiful Thanks, babe. But yeah, we're gonna end the video here. We're just gonna go home and probably Crash. watch Netflix. I'm so tired. Okay, he's gonna sleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna wash all this off. But we're so glad that we're gonna be back on YouTube. I'm gonna try to edit this tomorrow. Um, hold myself accountable. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. I uh, will see you guys. Feet. Turn left. She is rude, honestly. See you guys in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Oh.